Hey, it's Marcus James and you're streaming the Vicksburg Daily News Brief. We start tonight's news brief with a pay increase for city leaders and workers. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601 Tractor. The city of Vicksburg's board of mayor and aldermen adopted a budget on Wednesday, which included a pay increase raises for employees. Now, Mayor George Flags Jr. will now be paid more than $120,000, which is a $20,000 pay increase. North Ward and South Ward aldermen salary will be more than $87,000 a year. Now, during that initial meeting, North Ward alderman Michael Mayfield Sr. recused himself from voting on the budget. It eventually was passed with Flags and South Ward Alderman Alex Monsoor voting yes. Governor Tate Reeves on Wednesday released a task force report calling for Mississippi leaders to take action to address the state's teacher shortages and bolster the state's workforce and economic future. To see that full story, visit VicksburgNews.com. Vicksburg native Donald Leroy Schumann was killed as a result of a three-car crash Wednesday morning. Now that wreck happened at the intersection of 61 South and Dana Road. There was one injury reported. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Come throw some axes. Have a drink with some friends. Get in on the action. We, we have some friends. friends. Thanks so much for staying with us. Keith Phillips has the latest on sports in our area. Keith. The Missy Gators volleyball team are now 7-3 on the season after defeating Raymond High School on Tuesday where Lily Kistler scored all 25 points. Porter Trapper Academy softball player Macy Buffkin went perfect at the plate on Monday as she went 3-for-3 three three with four RBIs on the day. She's in her senior year and she'll play again on Saturday against Wilkinson County Academy. Vicksburg Junior High School football team had an 8-6 win against Clinton on Tuesday. They're now 3-1 and one on the season and they'll play again next Tuesday. Looks like we're still going to have a little more rain in the forecast over the next couple of days. Alex Long has the latest on what to expect of weather in our area. Alex? Hey Marcus, well rain continues to be in the forecast with a 60% chance of showers tomorrow with a high near 86. Friday we have up to a 90% chance of rain with a high near 86. And Saturday we have an 80% chance of showers with a high near 85. Thanks for that update Alex. Vicksburg Daily News wants to take this time to wish Dan Edney a happy birthday. We also want to take this time to wish Brittany Hufty a happy birthday as well. We wish you many, many more from the Vicksburg Daily News family. And if you know of anyone who has a birthday coming up, please let us know. We're always looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them and how old they'll be turning. We'll do our best to share those as you send them in. Remember, you can stay connected with us and get updates anytime on our website. That's VicksburgNews.com.